What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with episode 27 of my Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we made our way up here to Mount Hukalani. We got told about the soon-to-be-established Pokemon League on the actual tallest mountain, Wanakila, and we bowed some nerd in order to gain access to the observatory over here, and more importantly than all of that, our beloved Wanchitong finally fully evolved into Decidueye. And so now we're going to go in here into the observatory and see if we can't get started with this next trial. Oh, a comet, uh, comet shard, nice. I am all about that. Thank you. Let's move ahead. Trying to figure out where I could go. Zygarde thing. Oh yeah, crap. I still have to go talk to Cena at some point. Because remember, she actually wanted to talk to us once we got that, uh, once we got 10% of the Zygarde things. Oh, there's Mr. Sophocles. I only know that because I did some of the stuff in the Festival Plaza. Just off screen in my own time just to check it out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I know this is Sophocles. You're getting close to your goal. I imagine that you must have come here to attempt a trial, huh? So, uh, do you like Festival Plaza? Yeah, it's alright. Oh, if that's the case, then fine, whatever, let's get started. Right now? Right here? Right now? Right here? <laughs> it is in fact right now, right here. You summon the totem Pokemon and prove your strength to it. That's what every trial boils down to, right? So I thought, why not just call the totem here from the start? Oh boy. So I tried a bit of this and that, and I think I've whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine. Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. There are some sounds that are inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds we have gathered terrestrially and monitor their reactions. Or, the reactions of Pokemon. The machine that summons the totem Pokemon makes use of this technology. Utilizing other sounds we have gathered, we also developed a security system here. But that was actually Big Mo's invention. Just so you know, this will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. Oh, great! So, essentially I'm just your guinea pig. I'm sure this won't go horribly wrong. Ping Totem Pokemon 2.0, engage! That just tells you 1.0 was a complete disaster. Probably a hundred people or so died. Many more were injured. Now the totem should... Yup. That's about what I expected. I have to pass an audio quiz. Sure. Alright. Oh crap. Hopefully I don't have to identify Pokemon cries. I'm not good at that. Oh boy. That's a Pokemon healing sound. Uh, Pokemon Center, okay. Cool, cool. Oh boy! Let's see, what kind of Pokemon are we gonna fight? Obviously electric type. A Grubbin, okay. I've actually caught a Grubbin. Oh crap, I can't catch it. I just remember, you can't catch wild Pokemon when you're in the middle of a trial. I was about to say, I haven't caught a Grubbin yet, so I may as well. But I guess it's not really an option right now. Oh well. It's greater dog food. It's a little bit of experience, it's all good. Hopefully we can get Azul up to level 33 in this episode. That'd be good, so we can get a Salazzle. Ooh. It's coming. Uh, what? Oh, wait, no, that's the Rotom Dax. Ooh, Charger Bug. Oh, you know what I bet that means? The Tom's a Vika Vault. Makes sense to me.
Greater Dog's just gonna blaze through this trial then. If all the Pokemon I'm gonna fight are Grubbin's evolutionary family, they're all half bug type. Oh, we got the flinch, nice. If they're all half bug type, it means they're all weak to fire, and Greater Dog's just gonna burn right through them. Both literally and figuratively. Giovanni grows to level 32. Wants to learn Power Gem! Okay, wait, that is special, right? That is, in fact, special. Excellent. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of one of our physical dark moves. I feel like it should be Bite, because I want something that doesn't miss. Right, it's not Stab, but it's any base power rock type. That'll help for type coverage. If something happens to Greater Dog, I can bring out Giovanni, take down this, uh, what I assume is gonna be the Token Vika Vault. Yep, it's coming. Uh, wait, wasn't that Charge Bug? Yeah, it's Charge Bug. But speaking of which, you have to find another one. Tell you, this whole trial is just gonna be the Grubbin line. I'm fine with that because Greater Dog is just gonna destroy them all. Watch, just as I say that, the fucking Totem Beacon Vault is gonna have a defense buff and it's gonna have crazy moves to prevent fire damage or something. Just because I said that, right? I was hoping we get the flinch again, that would have been nice. Dude, I catch his flame charge. Oh, almost level 32. Means it's definitely gonna level up in the next battle. I told him should be here just after this next one, I suppose. I wonder if I have to do one more filler battle, or if I just answer the audio quiz and I'll just be the totem. Guess I'll find out. What appears to be here the following music? That is the totem Pokemon music. Gee, I wonder if that was the lead-in. Yep, called that. The totem Pokemon's of Ecovolt. Let's go! Look, I've already got... It's stats, Rose. Just, it's stats. So apparently just gets a buff in everything, I assume. Let's take a look. We got the little plus sign here. Yep, everything gets a buff. Except for accuracy and evasiveness. Every physical, like, tangible stat gets a buff right now. Great. Oh, I still outspeed it. Oh, what? It seriously have the berry that weakens fire damage? I told you! I told you that kind of shit would happen. Yeah, the Aka Berry. It has that to prevent damage from fire attacks. Ah, dang it, and I got paralyzed. That's not good. Well, now it's calling its allies. See, I told you, I got cocky, and now I'm getting fucking owned by a Vika Vault and soon to be a Charger Bug. I gotta try and break through the paralysis to get rid of this Charger Bug. Alright, good. Even with the paralysis, I'm still faster than both of you. Well, it probably helped that I had the flame charge up, but yeah. And Greater Dog grows to level 32. Very nice. Very nice. I am all about it. Not all about this paralysis, though. Route 1 Bird grows to level 32. Oh, crap, it's charging. That's not nice. Uh, gets another special defense buff. That is not what I need. I feel like I need to give you a super potion. Hopefully I don't get killed this turn so I can get a Paralyze Heal off. Crap, going for Spark. Ugh! God. I don't think I'm going to live another Spark. I'm going to have to try and break through the Paralysis and hit a Flame Wheel. Alright, good job. Good job, Greater Dog. That's the way. Get the burn, get the burn. Yeah, we got the burn. Excellent. I mean, it's a special attacker anyway, but fine. Oh, and we live the Spark. Because it didn't have the Charge Up, I suppose. 
Right, you're gonna die to the burn eventually. I just have to live long enough to get past the point where you're gonna be a problem. So really, I could just heal Greater Dog at this point and hope I live long enough to see you die. Then I can take care. Uh, then I can take care of the Charger Bug in my own time. Because the Charger Bug should not be too much trouble on its own. Assuming, of course, it doesn't you know learn like Heal Pulse or some weird bullshit. Are you going for char are you going for Spark? You're going for bite. That is just fine. And you're gonna get burned. I'm telling you, I'm gonna burn stall this fucking Vika Vault. I don't care. Either that or I have to live long enough to heal enough to see if I can kill the Charger Bug if the process doesn't take effect. There's a spark. There's a spark as well. Double spark action. I believe I should be able to live a couple more sparks. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna finally get this paralyzed heal out. Get Greater Dog unparalyzed. And we'll see how much HP I have after this turn. Then we'll decide if I need to heal again. Or if I can just go in for the attack. Oh, you're going in for charge. You better go in for the attack this turn. At least the Charger Bug, I would think. Oh, oh my god, are you kidding me? I got re-paralyzed! Are you actually serious right now? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to heal the HP first, because you just got charged again, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live a Charge Spark plus another Spark from the Charger Bug if I don't heal. Yep, here we go. Oh, you're charging again! Oh, boy. On the plus, I don't take that much damage this turn, but I am going to have to heal again. And hopefully this turn, the burn will kill the totem. Come on. And you are charging all kinds of scariness. I am not all about this. Come on, die from the burn. Die from the burn. Come on. Come on. Damn it! I'm gonna have to break through, see if I can't kill this charger bug. Good. Aw, oh, what? Alright, well, it's only one hit away from death anyway. The Vika Bolt's definitely gonna die from the burn this turn. So it literally does not matter that it's been charging this whole time, which is good, because it would have definitely killed me in one hit with all those charges. But down goes the totem. That is done and over with now. We just gotta kill this charger bug, which as far as I know, the ally Pokemon can't themselves call in allies during a totem battle. So we should be fine. Just heal your paralysis, greater dog. And provided we don't get re-paralyzed from Spark, we should be good. Nice. Okay, good. This is in the bag. This is one. Fire Fang. Eat that. Are you kidding me? The one time! That 95% accuracy comes into play. The one time! Are you actually serious right now? Greater Dog! Why? Come on! Right, don't get paralyzed. Good. Right, I'm not even risking it this time. Flame Charge. 100% accuracy. Let's go. Oi. That was an ordeal. We defeated the Totem Beacon Bolt. That's the only thing that matters right now. And we're still not that far into the episode at all. Very nice. There's the power back on. Sophie! Big Mo! Nice work, Captain! You helped Daniel here through his trial, and your experiment was a success! It seems that your Ping Totem uh, Pokemon 2.0 uses too much electricity. If we can get a little assistance from Charger Bug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, Daniel! I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you for being the Totem Pokemon. Nice! Now, I'm gonna laugh at this fucking... Just continues the trend of these Z-moves looking vaguely like bending styles. 
and if this ends up looking like how you produce lightning if you're a firebender with that kind of uh, with that kind of skill, which only a few uh, firebenders could do in the original series. You watching? Eh, kinda. I was fine when the power was off. Jeez, now that you can see me, I feel all nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks, or uh, congratulations? You passed my trial. Congratulations on, clear uh, on clearing your trial. And you, Sophocles, you did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry, I'm sure I made, I sure I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. Usually it's the island Kahuna who appoints the captains. But there are some er, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. Oh, so you say. So somehow I ended up captain. But you really were great, Daniel. I see, then let me reward you. Stelium Z as well, cool. Okay. This is one of the Z crystals I collected uh, long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokemon. So it seems fitting to, that that go from me to you. Take it and use it well. Are you going to show me how to do the thing? No? Okay, whatever. And if we're done here, Daniel, can I ask you to do a favor for me? Professor Cook, we forgot this. Oh boy. This is going to be awkward. He said he would be going back to Mally Garden. Could you take it to him? Eh, why not? Maybe next time we can battle. I would like that. Uh, you know what? We're going to cut ahead, unless anything interesting happens, we're going to cut ahead to where we're back to Mally Garden. So, uh, see you in a second, guys. Alright, back here in Mally Garden, and it looks like we have to deal with the plot again. Yo, 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 hold up, yo, Mr. Kukui. You say you want to make a Pokemon leak? You got rocks in your skull? Four turns. Huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, yeah? So I'm always ready. Oh, yeah. I'll take you both on in a battle royal, and you'll be down with just a swift and incinerator too. You gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Kukui is Ric Flair confirmed. Yo, for real? Fine, you asked for it. Get him good, Professor. You numbskulls should learn your place. Oh boy. Battle royal, huh? Nice idea there, Kukui. You could beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? The man has arrived. It's Kuzma. The boss is graces with his presence. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma is here. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kukui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. Here we are, Kukui. Fellow rejects who never could become captains. We've got all these moldy old traditions in Alola. The Kunas, the Captains. The Kahunas, not Kunas. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> it's about time we cut all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Kukui. We've got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everyone already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat old Hala, and I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together, in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League, yeah? To give everybody a chance to be pushed to the limit with their team and find that perfect move. Let's see it, Guzma. Show me your moves and prove you aren't just all talk. If you really can, that is. Ooh. Right, Daniel? Don't you agree? What? So you're one of those kids on his island... Oh, whoops. <laughs> so you're one of the kids on his island challenge? You don't look like Kala's grandson. This here's Daniel. He just moved to Alola recently. Discovery, new experiences, adventure. He's loving every minute of it. Daniel and Saladin can unleash some real powerful moves. So if you think you're the strongest trainer on these islands, Guzma, why don't you battle him? Tch, <laughs> this move fanatic is getting me all riled up. You got a Z-ring, huh, kid? 
Why even bother with the island challenge? What's the point of it? Uh, it'll make me strong. <laughs> no, it won't, you dumb kid! Watch closely, Cookie. Someday I'm gonna destroy you. But first, I'll destroy everything you care about. Wanna see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy, Guzma! Oh, boy. Time to take on the Team Skull boss! Right, where was two Pokemon gonna be? What the fuck is that? Galasopod? Is that what that said? I have no idea what this is. Galasopod, okay. Um, I have a feeling that Azula is not... Because it feels like... I remember that Pokemon Wimpod from one of the trailers. I think it's Water-type. I don't feel like Azula is going to do very well against this. So I should probably go ahead and switch over... Uh, let's give Ihana some action. Ihana hasn't had any air time today. Let's give Ihana some screen time. Give this thing the hands. Which is about to level up. I was right, it's water type. It is definitely water type. That did a lot of damage. Okay. Great. Yeah, no, it's fine. By the way, I'm loving this battle theme. I catch these hands. Oh, I was wrong about the other type. That might have been. But maybe it was rock type. Okay, sure. This isn't working out. Wait, what types are this fighting? Uh, oh, it might be ground type, actually. Um, I was switching to Wanchi Tong. Razor Shell that's going to be resisted. Nice. Still did considerable damage, though. I am not all about this. I hit with a Razor Leaf. Oh, it's typing actually resist... Uh, it half resists grass, too. What the fuck is your typing? Your water and something, I bet. What the hell type combination would... Be neutral in grass, resist fighting... I don't get it. Oh boy. You want to just go for the Bloom Doom? Right, here we go. Hit with the Bloom Doom, Wanchi Tong. This apparently is only going to do neutral, but it's, sta it's stab and it's a Z move, so it should be fairly powerful. And almost gonna kill. Emergency exit, okay. Because now Arya Dose, that is much better to handle, I think. I can handle this just fine. Hit you with a pluck. A fucking sucker punch. Oh, it's super effective now. Half ghost type. Oh boy. That's not great. Hopefully I can get off the synthesis. Go for sucker punch again, I dare you. Fuck, Shadow Sneak! Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't even know he got Shadow Sneak. Fuck me. Okay. Greater, uh, I don't say greater dog. Route 1 bird, get out here. Handle it for the moment. I need to revive Wanchi Tong. So he gets all his, uh, all the proper experience from this. And then... Uh, you can hopefully take out this Arya Dose, no problem. Yeah, okay, can't you Sucker Punch on a fucking Pokemon that's not attacking you yet. Let's go for that Beak Blast. Go for Sucker Punch? That's fine, because you're about to catch this burn. Not that you'll live long enough to get hurt by it. Goodbye. And Wanchi Tong grows to level 35. Very nice. Here comes Galissapod again. Switch Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, we're going to bring out Giovanni. Hit with a fake out. It apparently does not resist fake out. So hopefully this should do enough damage with a technician boost to take you out. Almost. Got the flinch though, that's good enough. Let's see what the resistance is for rock. Hit you with this power gem. 
Oh, it's super effective! Hmm. Oh, it couldn't be steel. Oh, Ihana grows to level 33. Azula grows to level 33! Nice, that's what I needed. Got $3,600, but more importantly, the sound is evolving! Nice! Azula evolves into Salazzle! Salazzle, the toxic lizard Pokémon. For some reason, only females have been found. It creates a reverse harem of male Salandit that it lives with. Interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm not gonna learn Captivate. I can live without that, thank you. Guzma, what is wrong with you? Now's the time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything! It was Daniel, right? I'll remember you, as someone I'll be happy to beat down any time. Guzma, out. Don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want him to get serious. Team Skull have to go lick, uh, lick their wounds now. Getting beat by a child just doing his trials. Ah, oh, Daniel, you're one righteous trainer. Thanks, random NPCs. Whoa, Daniel. Those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot to give you something super important. Here you go. It's the Z-Crystal for Decidueye. Oh, yeah. Finally got that. Deciduum Z. And uh, about that mask you've got there, Daniel. Mulane gave you that, yeah? I'll take it if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the masked world safe and sound. It was definitely not me in any way whatsoever. Shut up, the dirt sheets are lying. So what happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere, Daniel? I'm right here. And so is Accelera... Accelrola. Accelrola. I have no idea if I'm saying that right at all. And how is... Probably at the Malasada shop somewhere, yeah? You and the Professor fought those horrible Team Skull Thugs, Daniel? Just thinking about it makes me worry. They sound like a scary group. You think? I don't know. Exchanging a few uh, moves... Exchanging a few moves in the battle is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm going to head up Mount Lanakila. I gotta make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everybody has the chance to come find their own perfect move. Keep training hard on your island challenge, Daniel, and one day you'll make it there. Fantastic. Daniel, be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. Daniel, you've made it through Sophocles' trial, huh? That's really great! You can take the next trial up past Route 11, through Top of Village, you know? If you get lost on your way, ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? Now, Lily, you're coming with me to do some shopping. Well, I don't know about all that, but I'm definitely going to do the next trial, or at least head towards that way, in the next episode of my Pokemon Sun LP, where hopefully my voice won't crack. Uh, thank you for joining me for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll join me in the next one. Be sure to answer the comment question down below. Whatever it is, I'll come up with it in post. Give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more in the future. But until then, take care, everyone, and I'll catch you later. Super Nerd Daniel, out.